Oh, hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Sorry about that interruption there. But I am back and take care of a little business. Sorry about that. It's still beautiful though out here, absolutely gorgeous. The La Playa Beach Hotel down there. Well, it's a little after eight. About 68, 69 degrees. Gonna get up to 87 today. The water is really calm. When that sun gets up higher, it's gonna look really, really nice. Got some pelicans sitting out here. Been watching the pelicans flying by all morning. Water 75. Perfect temperature for me. That's the ideal temperature. I love it when it's 75, 76. And those are pelican friends. That was cool. There was a dolphin out here. It's kind of hard to see. It was kind of out in the darker water over here to my left. Like in the shadows over here. Came all the way down the beach, was heading down to the south. I was recording a little video at the time when it went by, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. I did a nice little five, six minute walk up the beach this morning. It's amazing how many color changes we had this morning. It's very cool. We went from dark gray skies to pinks, then back to gray. Holy mackerel. Did you hear that? That's this willow bird down here. Thing is making a racket. Pipe down. <laughs> but yeah, and then they went to a pinkish orange color. Good Lord, must be a female screaming at me. <laughs> Still got color in the clouds. You just never know, do you? When you get out here, you just don't know. I have no clue what it's gonna look like till that sun comes up. It didn't look like there was this many clouds earlier. It's supposed to be clear skies. The five o'clock forecast said clear skies. I don't care, I love the clouds. I love them. blessing to be able to come out here and share this with you. Remember what our first light looked like? Were you following along for that? It was kind of dark and gray. Is that noisy willow bird? You got something to say there or what? <laughs> share button. Everybody know I'm back here. I am very excited about Slancha Irish Whiskey. As I said earlier this morning, they have extended a great offer to me to extend onto you to share with you for the holidays. 15% discount on your online order which you get free shipping on everything too so it's a great way to send somebody some holiday cheer it's my holiday gift to you to share with your friends what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing a code with you to 
enter when you make your online purchase at cilantrowhiskey.com. They just haven't set it, got it all set up yet. Hopefully, maybe today, tomorrow, it'll be set up and ready for you to order. But the code, I'll tell you what the code's going to be. Very easy to remember. SWFLTV. SWFLTV, Southwest Florida Television. Very simple. Very simple to remember. You see the birds flying by. There's some little snowy egrets flying through. Peter, good morning. Happy Friday, TGIF. From Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. A beautiful Friday morning. Calm waters. Just a little breeze coming out of the east northeast. Like I said, once that sun comes up, we get a good look at this water. I think it's going to be nice and clear. Good morning. Fish jumping out there. Boy, this morning, when I was sharing our first light, just standing out in the water, and the little fish were all around me. It sounded like raindrops, them splashing, and you could see the little ripples in the water. It was really cool. The camera couldn't pick it up it was too dark but it's awesome I'm always standing out there waiting for the big fish to come after him <laughs> thank you for the stars I do appreciate that if you appreciate what I do if you enjoy these morning walks and videos and photos Besides hitting that share button, send some stars on Facebook. I get a penny for each star that you send. Tips always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And if it wasn't for your support, I wouldn't be able to come out and do these videos. I'd have to be doing something else. I'd have to be somewhere else in the morning. I don't even want to think about that. I'd rather be out here with you. So keep that in mind. Wow. Looks like I can't tell. It looks like the clouds are just kind of moving. Good morning. Moving across. Coming from the east. It was crystal clear blue sky over to the east a little just a little while ago 15 20 minutes ago I heard a weatherman on Wink TV said something about rain a chance of rain somewhere I don't know where I mean here somewhere in southwest Florida we could use it get into our dry season we had a dry wet season so we're hurting when it comes to rain. So the other day, I was sitting around the house trying to get my iPhone to work. I did a little research on the Naples Pier and I shared some info from the city of Naples website about the Naples Pier. I shared some photos. I shared a photo that I took of the pier back in 2016. Our beautiful old pier. And then a couple other photos of what it looks like now. It's going to be a while. Could be a couple years before the new pier is done. I don't know if they've completely finalized the plans. The last update said they were, had the 90% plan complete. So I don't know what the heck that means, 90%. Why wouldn't you just go 100%? <laughs> I 
But anyway, there's a link with those pictures and the you know you got to read. You can't just look at pictures. Read. There's a lot to read in with those photos and a link to take you to where you can get the next update. People don't read. They asked after I posted all of that yesterday. You look through the comments and there's people saying, "Is the pier open?" Helicopter going up over my head. I even put a, a date stamp on the photos so people could see the date. November 7th, 2023 is when I was down there last. And people asked if the pier is open. You can see the whole end of the pier is gone. I don't know. I always encourage people to, when you look at a post, look at the date it was posted, the original posting. If it's something people are sharing, look at the original date. That's how all this misinformation gets spread around on social media. You would be looking at something that's five years old. Somebody's memory. It happens all the time. Social media, it's where a lot of people get their news. Hey peeps, it's not the news, it's social media. This isn't news, I'm not out here to bring you news. I mean, I do share information, it's kind of news, but it's just things I hear. And I try to verify what I hear before I share it. more of what you see is what you get with me out here. I'm just out here to show you what it looks like out here in the morning and bring you together. That is why I'm here. Bringing people together one beach walk at a time. Awesome people like you. I don't know if I'm going to see bad Bob on the beach this morning. Beautiful, great white egret. Beautiful, just poised here, waiting for breakfast, waiting to pounce on breakfast. go right on cue the water is teeming teeming with little bait fish Some of them are really tiny too. Just little fingerlings, little hatchlings. I was going to catch another one here while we're watching. It's being very cooperative, staying in one spot here. Mm, great shot. Come on.
My arm's getting tired. Oh well. I tried. Oh well. It's a beautiful morning. Wish you were here. Boy, it is quiet out here this morning. I'll tell you what, very, very quiet. Just a few people. I've only seen. I don't think I've seen a dozen people yet. Did not see the tracker this morning. The John Deere with the rake. I don't know what that's about. That's odd. Maybe the guy and the driver sick or on vacation. I know there's two different drivers, operators. Oh, Veterans Day. Don't forget. Veterans Day. Remember all of our veterans. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be out here walking on the beach. God bless them and their families. Thank a vet this weekend when you're out enjoying the extra long weekend. Thank you, Vet, that you can do that. God bless America. A wave action. Little noisy seagull action. Some gulls lined up here.
Town of Oregon's Pass State Park in the distance there beyond the condominiums. Next week we'll be heading out on the water on Thursday evening with Boat Naples for our sunset cruise. Love to see you on board with us. I think we got a couple seats still open. You got to call them to get on that. That's something special they're doing for me and to you. So get their number, boatnaples.com. Give them a call. It's $40 per person. Complimentary beer and wine, and it includes a slancha Irish whiskey sunset toast. Boatnaples.com. And blue. Beautiful. And look at that calm water, man. I haven't seen, I'm surprised I've not seen any kayakers or paddleboarders going by. This is ideal here. Later today, you gotta watch this five minutes of just walking and no talking that I did this morning. Beautiful, the birds flying by. It was just gorgeous. It was kind of in between the colors, in between when the clouds fired up with color. It's very peaceful. Lots of lots of pelicans going by. A little serenity. Take five minutes out of your day and enjoy the sights and sounds. I'll post that later. I'm starting to accumulate a little library of those online now. Nice. Some sun hitting the beach here. In between the condos. Love it. So I'm going to do another live feed after this one. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know where I'm at with battery life here. This old tired battery in my iPhone. It's showing its signs of age like me. <laughs> Wearing down.
is weather wise it's gorgeous out here temperature is just incredible I don't know if it's up to 70 yet tomorrow is supposed to maybe break a high record tomorrow I think the record's 89 tomorrow they're talking about possibly breaking it somewhere in southwest Florida I don't think here in Naples or North Naples Beautiful when you get out here in the sunlight. Our great blue heron. Out in the sunlight. A rocket. It's in a hurry. In a hurry to get down the beach. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, he's moving along. He's keeping an eye on this fisherman with his cast net. He's taking the bait out. It's like, hmm, can I get a free meal here? Keeping a close eye on what's going on with that cast net. Those birds are definitely opportunists. <laughs> keeping his distance though, keeping its distance. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It'll be a glorious beach day. Another glorious day in paradise. See an ibis. Seagull, a little snowy egret, and an ibis. Love our little ibis. Doing their little ibis thing. Good morning. How's it going? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. Now we're getting a better look at the water here. As we approach the north end of Vanderbilt Beach. I'm going to take a little break here in a minute. Great blue heron right up there. Rocket too. Huh. Did you see it take off up there? So where will the real rocket reveal itself? <laughs> I'm seeing little clumps of seaweed. Looks like some kind of drift algae. Nothing that's going to hurt anything. It's just little clumps of it. Here and there in the water. The beach is pretty clean now.
Right. I'm going to take a break, my friends. I'll be back in a little while, so stay tuned, stick around for the fun. <laughs> if I don't see you later, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Friday, TGIF, huh? Get that long weekend ahead of us. Remember the reason, again, for that weekend. Thank a vet this weekend. Shake a vet's hand. God bless America. Hmm. Thanks for the stars. If you happen to send a couple stars, I got a few stars there. Remember, tips always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. No fees when you send tips. When you do the Facebook stars, there's a little fee. Facebook is making money off you. He's got enough money. All right, until next time, stay safe. Stay healthy and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, and God bless America. Tally ho. Tally ho.